And so then, for example, would you say, uh, you know, the difference between Shangpa Kagyu and Kama Kagyu is mainly the lineage transmission from through the different uh, through the different masters and students, as well as different some shared practices, I'm sure, and some because we they're both from the Buddha originally, mm -hmm. but also some different practices. So is that how you would uh, explain the difference between those two um, lineages or traditions, however we we want to call it? Yes, yes. Like an example, um, you know, uh, the the difference uh, between the 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 Marpokaju and then the Shampokaju is that you know also or you can call it the Karmakaju or Shampokaju doesn't matter, uh, you know, uh, Naruchudu or Niguchudu you can call it like that. You know, the six you know the six yogas of Niguma or the six yogas of Naropa. The distinction is that it is nothing to do one uh, that is against another. It is, it is more to do with the distinction of the practice. You know, in the practice, there's a different visualization, different way of uh, making a prayer. The prayer is different. The concept is different. The way of making a dedication is different. You know, the way of doing a yoga is different. The dream yoga is different. The heat yoga is different. The illusion yoga is different. The, 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 the how do I say, the bardo practice is different. And the clear light practice is different. You know, like an example in the Shampa lineage, we say the you know we say the five jewels of Niguma. In Tibetan, I call it like this: uh, the five you, five jewels of Niguma is Tsawa Niguchuru Dongbo Chaja Chembo Yaga Langen Namsu Medo Kajuk Raman Debu Chimi Chume. So these are the tree of Niguma. We call it like that. Tsawa Niguchuru. Tsawa means the the trunk of the you know the foundation of the tree is like the six yogis of Niguma. The trunk of the tree is the Mahamudra of Niguma. You know, Tawa Niguchuru, Dongba Chada Chembo, Yaga Lamken Namsum. You know, the Yaga means that the branches of the tree is, uh, how do I say, the body, speech, and mind combined with the deity practice, you know, in a subtle level, you know, uh, not the ordinary deity practice. And that's the, the branches. Tawa Niguchuru, Dongba Chada Chembo, Yaga Lamken Namsum, Meto Kachu Karma. The flowers in the tree is, uh, how do I say the red dakini and the white dakini? You know, these are the more or less to do with the poor practice. And then, uh, then the seed within the flower is jebuchimichume. Jebuchimichume means uh, how do I say the infinite practice? You know, at that stage there's absolutely no more visualization. Uh, at that stage, it's a little bit like the the I can describe to you a little bit. I cannot give you the full practice. It's a little bit like the beginning of the Big Bang. You know, like uh, when you have the circle of energy and then it creates a big bang, mm. you know, so, you know, so there's that type of simplicity visualization. Of course, we start with the refuge, dedication, bodhicitta, obviously, but the practice at that point becomes very, very subtle, the way to uh, recognize the nature of the mind, you know, so these are, uh, so these are the distinction, like an example in Karmakaji practice, they prioritize the nigum. Uh, how do I say the Vajrayogini practice, you know, the in mm. the external practice, the internal practice, the secret practice, you know, the of the Vajrayogini practice. Like an example in the Shampa tradition, we prioritize the Chakra Sambara, you know, Chakra Sambara as the main practice. And like the not just the Chakra Sambara, but also the five deities, you know, the Yamendaka, Hevajra, and all of these five deities are considered as a main practice because that was the practice that is received by Chungbo Nanjo in Bodhgaya from the abbot. Of the bodhigaya at that time uh, called uh, Lama Dorje Demba. So that, that was the time that he received that all this transmission of the Chakra Sambara teachings. Mm, so, uh, so, so that's that. So therefore, you know, so, and then like an example in terms of the, the origin of the protector, like an example, Nrupakaju, uh, you know, of, of Bhutan, Dupakaji of Tibet or India, whatever you call them, in the, they prioritize the four deity, the four arms uh, Mahakala. Karmakaji, they prioritize the, how do I say, the two arms Mahakala, singular or combined with the Baldan Hamo. You know, like an example in the Shamba tradition, we have the six arm Mahakala along with the 13 different type of Mahakala all combined together. 13 different type means the 13 different type of six arm Mahakalas. You know, so that is a, how do I say, mm, and also like an example in, in, in the tourist shop and, you know, we all see the white six Amahakala, right? 
you know, we say, oh, you, you have a problem with the wealth, you have to pray to the white six Mahakala. But nobody asks question about where 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 is the origin come from of the white six Mahakala. The white six Mahakala, the only origin comes from the the the, the dark blue six Mahakala. That's the origin. You know, so the, the white six Mahakala is one of the emanation of the six Mahakala. It's like a family group, you know. Uh, so like these these are the distinction. You know, if I put it a little bit briefly, uh, so so that's that. You know?